kitten won't stop growing. Vet looks closely at X-ray and sees why. A pair of Argentine teenagers were out fishing when they discovered a very cute abandoned kitten. The girl and her brother discovered the kittens and, being the compassionate teens they are, decided to rescue them. The local press reported that Florencia Lobos is an 18-year-old girl from Santa Rosa de Leales in Argentina's Tucumán province. According to the news, she and her brother discovered two kittens in a cave near the river where they were fishing. It was clear that the two young cats had lost their mother. After some consideration and discussion, Florencia and her brother decided to bring the kittens home. They decided to care for the poor animals. The pair brought the two kittens home to nurse them back to health after the loss of their mother. They decided to name the kittens Danny and Tito. Unfortunately, Tito died not long afterward, while Danny got stronger and stronger. Danny had been growing stronger and stronger under the care of Florencia and her family. However, one day the little kitten had a tumble and ended up injuring its leg. Florencia immediately rushed Danny to the vet. That's when the vet revealed something that stunned her. While Florencia was getting Danny checked out, the vet made a shocking discovery. After making sure of his suspicions, the vet revealed that Danny was no ordinary kitten. Danny was, in fact, a Jaguarundi cub. The Jaguarundi is a big cat that's very similar to a puma. Jaguarundi are found in both North and South America. However, unlike house cats that are kept as pets, Jaguarundi are Amazonian wild cats and are not tame. Not only are Jaguarundi similar to pumas, they are actually more closely related to cheetahs and cougars. None of these cats are exactly the kind you'd want cuddling up on your lap or your sofa with you. Florencia discovered that she wouldn't be able to pay for the surgery that was needed to fix Danny's leg. She also didn't want to keep the animal from a natural life. So she contacted the Argentine Animal Rescue Foundation, hoping that they could help her. The Argentine Animal Rescue Foundation president, Hernan Rodriguez Salazar, explained, Fortunately, she called us and gave us the animal because she realized it would not be suitable for her home. We took it to a vet who works with us. The events with Florencia and Danny teach a very important lesson. You shouldn't take wild animals into your home, particularly cats, as they can be very dangerous. Fortunately for all concerned, the story worked out well. After the AARF's vets took care of Danny's leg, the cat was taken to a nearby nature reserve. The idea was that it would help Danny by giving her leg enough time to properly heal. The animal's health was their top priority. When it comes to Florencia, she admitted that she'd been utterly shocked to discover the truth. She never imagined that her playful little rescue kitten could turn out to be a wild cat. She didn't expect it to be a big cat like a puma. Florencia didn't leave the matter here, however. She makes sure to stay in touch with the AARF. She's being kept up to date on the situation with Danny and how Danny is doing. Florencia plans on visiting Danny, stating, I feel he'll be sad without me. <laughs>